Design is a function of connection. There is nothing more vulnerable than creativity. And what is art if it's not love? Hey guys, happy Monday. I am <clears throat> sick. <laughs> But I wanted to start this vlog off anyway because I wanted to weekly vlog this week and nothing is going to stop me. I have a bunch of computer stuff to get done today so I thought that's perfect because I don't have to sit, I mean I don't have to run around anywhere and do anything crazy. I did want to do my Depop listings today. I'm selling some of my clothes. I'm just trying to revamp my wardrobe because I'm just... I need a refresher and I want to sell my old stuff, give it a new home. I wasn't going to prop you up in this position because I've never said it before, but I hate this background so much. I hate the green. It just makes me want to... I wanted to create these designs on Canva or something. Um, something trendy and then print out, get them printed in like a poster form or something like that and stick them along, just like prints all along there to match each panel and make it look a whole lot more aesthetically pleasing. What do you think? Let me know because that is not okay. <laughs> like in some shots, I've actually, in my past vlogs, color graded it to not look like that, <laughs> but I hate it so much. So, I mean, if you like green, there you go. There's your dose of green for the day, but I, mm -mm, no. No, no, I can't stand it. So, yeah. Anyway, this month I'm really getting back into the acting swing of things. I took a break for a while because I just felt like I needed it. But now I'm so ready to get back into it and I'm so excited about it. So, getting my hair redone this week as well and getting my showreel done and my headshots and then I'm just going to try my luck. You know, we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. This could be... A new chapter of life hopefully we'll see how we go but yeah a lot of sitting down today I'm gonna try and do yoga though because I feel like that'll help me get better faster because it really just gets your body moving the blood flowing in a gentle way instead of like going to the gym and forcing my body to do stuff that's gonna make me worse welcome to the vlog don't know how much of today I will get shot but just know that I will be better by tomorrow Mark my words, I will feel better. <laughs> All right, catch you guys in the next clip. <laughs> you wanna know what happened? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Concerned face of. <laughs> do you want some? No. I can't do sweet I can't. Like, French toast is a hit or miss for me, but this is nice. It's pretty good. Some people make it and taste very eggy, but. Mm. Tastes like oh, I know. Tastes like my favorite donut from the Sorrento Bakery, and they do like it's like a hot dog bun in a donut, and they do the cream inside and the jam. This is exactly what it tastes like. Uh. Save the animals. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah. I never realized it, but in this song, he sounds exactly like Freddie Mercury. We both woke up late today because we're both still kind of sick, Paul and I, and so we needed a sleep in. I was supposed to go out with my dad today 
to celebrate a belated Father's Day, but I think we're gonna do that tomorrow now because I needed an extra day just to feel better because I don't wanna make him sick. So, <laughs> we got up, we decided to try out a new cafe, which was pretty good. The coffee I feel like was slightly burnt, but the French toast, oh my God. <laughs> like I'm so picky with French toast. They did it perfectly. It tasted like a cinnamon donut, like one of my favorite donuts to get from this bakery I used to go to that was near my old house. We went to the cafe and then we went to the shops and I have a little man keeping me company right now. Hi. Oh, my grumpy boy. Which was a nice start to the day and now we're just at home. I'm gonna do my Depop listings today uh, cause I didn't get to do them yesterday cause I just felt disgusting. <laughs> And one thing that really helped last night was I did yoga, as I said I was going to. I did it at night when my cold was the worst. I couldn't breathe. My head felt like it was going to explode and I started doing yoga. And when you're in like downward dog position and like... I The one I did was just so many positions where your head was down and I couldn't put it down the whole way. But I tried my best and it felt like my head was literally going to explode. Like it was it felt disgusting but I kept doing it my nose started running and for me I really struggled to get rid of stuff because I have sinus issues that I need to get like professionally fixed but for the first time this entire cold my nose started running properly and everything started like coming down which is great <laughs> kind of sounds gross but like it was happening and I was like oh my god this is annoying but also really good and I finished my yoga I pushed all the way through the 20 minutes and I went to the bathroom, blew my nose, and everything cleared up amazingly. Did my, my hair, my clip actually stayed in today for my hair. It never usually does, but, oh. I'm just gonna put this in a basket. <laughs> We've been warming up, haven't we, little man? That was intense. I wish I got more of that on camera, but my GoPro is really buggy. It overheats and it stops recording and corrupts footage. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's like spring allergies and also being sick. It's just a terrible combination. Anyway, that yoga practice was so tricky and it involved so many new 
positions and stuff but I love that and I feel like I did a really good job considering I'm still not well I think I really nailed it <laughs> so that was nice I love yoga so much it's the best um so win-win for that I have been following I follow a few people for yoga but that lesson was um, the 45 minute one from Boho Beautiful. I'll link it in the description because I really enjoyed it. Um, and I love the way she teaches. It's very beautiful and mindful and yeah, she's just amazing. Um, her and her partner do an incredible job at everything. Covering my eyes because even though it's overcast, it's very bright. You know, when you get sick and everything is like so sensitive, I'm at that point. I'm really proud of myself getting through that practice and doing it well and then um, I think my towels that I put in the wash are done so I'm gonna put them in the dryer and then do some more washing because um, I'm behind and then I'm gonna freshen up and do my depop listings and see where we're at after that but just confirmed I'm going out to lunch with my dad tomorrow which will be really nice my arm is very sore so yeah we're going out to lunch tomorrow which will be really lovely and yeah that'll be my wednesday i'm gonna do a lot of meditation stuff meditation related stuff tomorrow for my business and for the manifestation club on facebook because i want to not neglect that um and then that's pretty much it tomorrow thursday is so exciting because i'm getting my hair done and i'm so excited i actually thought it was friday but then I checked my calendar and I got a like appointment reminder that it's actually on Thursday. <laughs> so lucky I remembered that and um, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And then on Friday night, I've got my best friend's party at her house. She's having like a little costume party, which I'm so excited about, but I don't know what I'm gonna dress up as. I don't know, my hair will be different, so that's something, but I just have no idea what I'm gonna dress up as. I'm tossing up a, from like whether to do something really, really stupid <laughs> or just something actually good, but I'm leaning more towards something really ridiculous. I don't know, anyway. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna get on with what I need to do and I'll talk to you guys soon. Please excuse the dryer in the back, but I am selling this pile of clothes. I'm keeping it within Australia for this set of stuff, but once I expand, one day with like my own thrifting sort of things um i will then ship off to other places but for this stuff just going in australia so if you are living in australia and you are interested in any of these clothes <laughs> definitely go check it out i'll have the details in the description i don't know if i'm stupid but this typically doesn't work that well because the water kind of pulls at the bottom and I don't know uh I don't know I think I need to get a different one I kind of want to get one of those like little handheld ones because I just think it'll be easier oh there it goes it's like not that is not supposed to happen that is so dangerous I need to get one of those handheld ones that's just gonna be so much easier okay it's steaming <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, it's huge.
coconut. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, there's so much more in this for two ninety five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your segment is Paul Fine's Bargains. Paul Fine's Bargains. <laughs> you, you better edit that in there. I will. Laura, get that. Laura, get that. Laura, get that. Laura, get that. <laughs> Don't tell my mum or my nonna. Okay? It's our little secret. Tortalini. Jalapeno bread. It's very Jalapeno spicy. Jalapeno bread. <laughs> it's spicy. It smells so good. It tastes good, but it's spicy. Quick dinner. It tastes amazing. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it is, I was about to say, it's Ashley. <laughs> um, okay, so we're off to the shops right now because we got to get some stuff. Um, we've got my friend's costume party tonight. So I got to get some things and uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> trying to get me drunk sir yes. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna take to drink tonight I'm not a big drinker but I love my gin <laughs> hey! I am not I hardly drink but when I do I love gin and I love tequila so <laughs> taco party, taco party. Uh, if you know that reference you're a G by the way so we got everything we need to get and we don't have to be at Taylor's until 7, so that's chill, so we'll just go home, do what we need to do. I have some work to do when we get home, and then we'll go and pick up some drinks on the way. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've been to a house party. I think the last house party was I went Taylor's. to was Taylor's, <laughs> and it was like mm, earlier in the year, I guess. Yeah. Something like that. So it's been a while. I'm excited. I love a good house party. And we're both going as cheerleaders because it's a costume party. So <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> and I'm, we're both female cheerleaders. Yeah, both female cheerleaders. It's a female cheerleading. I am recycling my one from my 21st birthday because I had a costume party as well. But it was like more of a Halloween party because it's my favorite time of year. So I was like, even though my birthday's in November, we can do Halloween all over again. Um, so I went as Jennifer's body, Megan Fox in her cheerleading costume, but now I'll just be regular me, but in a cheerleading costume. 
but I'm, I'm, I wish it was the same colors as Chrissy's now, because then I could have been Chrissy from Stranger Things, but I'll just be a regular cheerleader with my, with my cheerleader pal. It'll be so good. I'm excited. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. See you guys later.